Hey junkies, this is A.B. Sigler, a real girl herself, back with another Sig Locktail tutorial. I do these every Monday and I, what I'm doing is I'm showing you how to make a classic drink that uh, we enjoy doing during our Tuesdays and Thursdays live streams. Every day that starts with a T at 6 p.m. Pacific time, I go live with New York Times bestselling novelist Scott Sigler. We do an hour of content. Uh, right now we're doing a sports movie bracket and we're chatting, interacting with you guys just twice a week for an hour just to take away some of the monotony of this uh, crazy time in our lives. So this is a very classic cocktail. This is August. We're doing rum drinks in August. This particular rum drink, long and storied history, by which I mean a storied history, it is called an El Floridita. An El Floridita is a daiquiri. Now, no, you might be familiar with daiquiris from TGI Fridays or Dick's Last Resort or somewhere tropical with lots of strawberries and whipped cream on top, and I am not knocking those. Those are great drinks. Those are very 80s, 90s sorts of drinks. I went through college, putting myself through college as a bartender working at TGI Friday, so I've got all the love for those sorts of drinks. But this is a much more classic, much more refined cocktail. It is also delicious, so let's get started. The El Floridita is named after the bar that created it in Havana, Cuba. It is uh, simple, it's just got four ingredients. It's got rum, sugar, lime juice, and maraschino liqueur, luxardo liqueur. That's this, you can get it at probably any liquor store. I'm not sure that any grocery store that carries alcohol and spirits would have it, but almost every liquor store will. Um, and that's it. Uh, I was having happy hour a couple of weeks ago with some friends of mine who are big into craft cocktails, very talented craft cocktailers, and um, one of them told me that one of the ways that craft cocktail venues all around the world these days interview potential bartenders is by having them make a classic daiquiri. It depends very much on the precision and the combination of the details. One other fun fact is El Floridita is in Havana, Cuba, and it was not too far away from where Ernest Hemingway lived when he lived in Cuba. So he would come in often. He had a little bit of a variation, which I'm going to show you after, after I make the classic drink and I show you the presentation of the classic drink. Um, so if you would like to enjoy a literary drink twice over, once because it's a Hemingway drink, and second because you'll be on Sigler in place at, on Tuesday or Thursday this week, come on and let me show you how. You're going to start with your cocktail shaker. It's going to be iced in the shaker, so you just put ice in the, in the bottom of the shaker. Easy peasy. And then you just combine all your ingredients in... You combine all of your ingredients, geez Louise, into the cocktail shaker. We're gonna use two ounces of Bacardi Silver. Um, one of the variations on Hemingway's drink is he would do three ounces of rum instead. So two ounces of Bacardi Silver right into the cocktail shaker. Then you're gonna squeeze some limes. I've already done that because it takes forever and it shakes the table. So you're gonna add three quarter, oops, three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. Like I said, to get this drink to taste it in its classic iteration how it should, you should probably measure all of these ingredients. And then you're going to take just regular white sugar or simple syrup. Uh, I prefer the white sugar route. You're going to take one teaspoon, put it in there. If you're using simple syrup, you're going to do about that, uh, sort of a heavy teaspoon because it'll have a little bit of liquid in it, so it'll be a little less sweet unless you're using rich simple syrup, which is two cups of sugar to one cup of water. That would make it plenty sweet at one teaspoon. And then this you definitely measured. The maraschino liquor I brought up before, one teaspoon of that. Also into your glass. Easy peasy. Or I'm sorry, into your shaker. Then you take your shaker, make sure the top is screwed on. I just got this cool shaker called the Elevated Cocktail Shaker. It's not supposed to sweat on the outside because it's double barrel. We'll see. And you shake, 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 So I chilled a bunch of my ingredients before starting because I always taste the drinks and I don't like it when they're warm, but whatever works for you. Now that our little drink trailer is over, you take whatever glass you're pouring in. You can use a small martini glass. You can use a coupe glass. This is called the Nick and Nora glass from those same, uh, gifted from those same friends of mine I was just talking about as it happens. Okay. 
pour into that glass. You can garnish with a thin slice of lime if you like, which I'm going to do. Unnecessary, but you can do that. And there you go, let's try it. I have to say, I'd hire me. I would definitely hire me to make more of these. So if you would like to watch us and enjoy these this week, we are going live Tuesday and Thursday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Facebook.com slash Scott Sigler, Twitch.tv slash Scott Sigler, or YouTube.com slash Scott Sigler. Hope you stay safe. Hope you stay smart. Hope you stay science. Hope you come and join us uh, at Sigler in Place one of these days. And uh, I'll catch you on the flip side.